Hey, what's up everyone? Beyond the Fall here with another Destiny video for you. And today I just wanted to talk about something that could potentially make you a better player down the road in PvP. And that is finding slash modifying your playstyle. Typically in Destiny you see two extremes in terms of playstyles in the Crucible. Uh, one being a very passive player who takes almost no risks and waits for the perfect moment to push. And the other being the hyper aggressive player who thrives off of blitzing the opponent in hopes of catching them off guard and getting kills before the other team has time to react. Neither of them are wrong. In fact, both have proven to be effective at times, but I want to sort of talk about what I've been experiencing the last week or so in the Crucible. Uh, when I first started getting serious about the Crucible and wanted to get better at it, right around the announcement of Trials in Year 1, I've always gravitated towards Snipers, which introduced me to the more passive playstyle you see so often in Crucible matches today. I've always been the guy in trials matches to sort of sit back a little bit and wait to see if my team can get a pick before we push the other team. Now, obviously that's not necessarily a bad strategy, as a 3v2 push is a lot more favorable than a 3v3 push, and we would definitely have the advantage. But I started noticing that sometimes we would be so passive it caused us to lose matches, and I would sort of fall out of rhythm as the trials card went on. The same in standard crucible modes like skirmish, clash, and so on. I realized that I was actually hurting my team because I was being such a passive, sit-back style of player all the time. Now, the same is true on the other end of the spectrum. If you're playing so aggressively that you're constantly just running into the enemy team and feeding them kills, or even trading because of it, you're actually hurting your team. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. Whether you're more a passive player or a naturally more aggressive player, it's important to find a balance between the two. You will always lean toward one or the other, but finding the balance between pushing aggressively and playing a bit more cautious can be the difference between winning and losing in a lot of situations. If you watched my previous video, you'll know that I've recently been playing a little bit of sweats lately, and what I noticed is, it's nearly impossible to play passively in a game like that. Everyone is flying around the map, they're team shotting, they're making callouts, they're coordinating pushes, and if I wanted to snipe, I had to look at an angle for only a second or two, and if nothing showed up, I had to move on and help my teammates out, or they would just get absolutely slaughtered. So I realized if we were going to have a chance at winning, I had to alter my passive playstyle to be less passive and a little bit more aggressive. And that didn't mean that I pulled out a shotgun I just rushed in with my team and whoever won, won. It just means that maybe instead of running around with my sniper out all the time and trying to snipe everything. I would run around with my primary, and if an opportunity to snipe presented itself, I would make sure it was safe to switch to my sniper and take the shot. If it didn't land, I would move on, I would push with my primary instead, and I would team shot with my teammates. Now same thing if you wanted a shotgun. Now shotgun players are commonly more aggressive due to the nature of a shotgun. You have to be up close and personal in everyone's faces if you want to get the kills. But if all you do is play so aggressively that you run in and trade, or run in and die, you're not being as effective as you can be. Sometimes it's more effective to stay in the mid-range game and outduel a sniper with your primary, or even out-primary the other team, instead of pushing in with a shotgun and dying or trading. As cool as it looks to get all your kills with a sniper or a shotgun, it sometimes costs you the game, and if you were to have pushed with your primary and helped your team a few more times that game, you might have actually won. So after figuring this out, I began implementing that playstyle into other arenas in the Crucible, and what I've noticed is that altering and modifying my playstyle has actually made me a better player overall. While I don't get as many snipes in a game as I used to, I'm finding myself getting more kills than before, and the snipes that I do land feel a lot more rewarding. And also having a better KD at the end of games than before is an added perk, and it's actually something tangible you can see as proof that you're getting better. Even now, I find myself not getting sniped by the other team as much as before, because I'm not challenging the enemy snipes as much, and I'm constantly moving around the map in a way that makes it difficult for the enemy team to land their snipes on me. This same is true against shotgunners. I'm not getting myself in a position where it's easy for them to just run around the corner and shotgun me instantly. I'm making sure if I think they have a shotgun, I'm staying back a far enough distance away to where I know if they come around the corner, I'm gonna be able to counter them with my last word or with my grasp of Moloch or whatever I'm using as my primary uh, in counter to my sniper. So that way, um, I'm not getting in those trade situations as often. Knowing when to be aggressive and when to be a bit more passive is something that takes practice. 
Now obviously, if you're playing a full team of shotguns, you're going to know to be a little more passive than you are aggressive because you don't just want to rush into a room where all three of them have shotguns. Uh, on the other end, if you're playing against three snipers, or maybe a team that has two snipers and one shotgun, you're going to want to be a little bit more aggressive because you know that they're probably going to be landing, or they're going for the snipes, and you don't want to make yourself an easy target. Now, something I do want to say is you might not do so well for a few days as you're adjusting your different playstyle, but once you really grasp onto it, it will make you a better player than you were before. If you really put in the practice defining your playstyle and realizing what works best for you, and then if you tweak it to find that perfect balance between the passive and aggressive play, you'll be at the top of the leaderboards in no time. And I don't know, maybe you already knew this and I've been rambling on this entire time for no reason. Either way, I just wanted to share it as it's something I've recently discovered and it's allowed me to play better than I have in a long time in playing Destiny. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you have a great day, and be sure to look out for more Destiny videos in the future. I will catch you guys next time.